Hi, it's Mr. Kurt Nielsen. It's a busy morning. Barely have time to make a video, but I'm still going to do it for you because I love you. Do you have 15 minutes? I barely do, but let's have some fun. Oh, if you're feeling down as dirt, come on and have some fun with Kurt. We'll paint a bit and horse around. I'll pick your spirits off of the ground. All right, kids. And here we go. 15 minutes. Well, I'm doing everything on my lap this morning. No setup, no nothing formal. Why? Well, just because. So, I'm looking through the viewfinder of the camera, or the lens, I don't know what what to call this, but I'm just gonna make it whatever I want it to be. So I got up early this morning, I was working on some freelance. It's just one of those days where you just don't have your head together. And, uh, you know, you're like, oh, I can't possibly stay together with my activities. It's It's impossible, but, you just find a way, you find a way, you gotta pull it together, you know, oh, I don't feel well enough to do my job today, maybe I should call out, but of course you can only do that so often, so you have to find a way to survive, find a way, find a way, yeah, some of these mornings, you know, I'm not peppy, everybody thinks I'm full of joy and pep at all moments, not necessarily true, you know, some days I just get by you know fake it till you make it that whole thing that's kind of how i'm gonna have to be today sorry if the camera works awful i'm doing what i can here for you all right anyway i'm trying to make this fun and whimsical that's the one thing about my art you know i don't like it to be too down and depressed even when i'm not feeling great i don't like to take it down that route Art to me is like one of those things, you know, you you want to create a world that you want to see, yeah? And I, you know, I used to go to museums all the time and see these paintings that everybody told me like, oh, you know, you need to, you need to study this painting. This is, these are the masters, you know, these, these are the ones that you'll really learn from. But some of the subject matter is very dry and I never really cotton to it and uh, you know I, th I think to myself that's not something I'd want on my personal walls um, so um, I mean it may be great for some people but it's not necessarily great for me so the stuff that I have is usually like smiling people bright colors happy colors things like that and that's kind of what I put in my art even when I'm not feeling a hundred percent great um, I still try to make it peppy because I figure if I do that, it'll become my experience, right? That's at least how I look at it. So anyway, so today's a busy day. I've been up since three in the morning and right now it is just uh, before eight o'clock. So I got a lot of, a lot of things to do and I still got to head to work, but I'm still going to get my art out and I'm still going to produce this for you because you're worth it and I'm worth it. Got a lot of things happening in my life. <clears throat> I have a big birthday coming up next week, which I know no one's going to celebrate. Not even me. No, no. I'm going to celebrate my birthday, but it'll be fun. It's a, it's kind of a big birthday, but, you know, the way of the world right now, I just think have some people around you that you really love. You know, enjoy that time together, and then let it just be what it is. And that's all. I'm just, I'm just keeping it rather basic. You know? Okay. Just like my art. Okay. So there we go. That's the main layout here. And as far as color and everything goes, I'm just going to be very, very abstract today. Very So I do one of my favorite little techniques where you just kind of do it like a little outline. And then you start filling in as you go about. You know, you, you're creating like the, the outside base for it. And you could tell I, I worry very much about detail. Oh, the detail. <laughs> detail. What the heck? I don't care about details. I just go for an overall vibe, you know? Go for that energy. Go for that energy. Go for something that kind of resonates within you. Yeah. You can see my room's all messed up and scrappy right now. When, uh, when I do freelance or I get stuck in projects, my room gets kind of kind of all all over the place and that's okay you know it, maybe it's a distraction when i work well, it's got to be but uh anyway um it's the way it ends up being every single time all right 
but I don't know about you, but I, I carry my sketchbooks wherever I go. I keep some in my car. I keep uh, I keep one in my little travel backpack, you know. Just got to have a little something around you to kind of keep you happy and, you know, to fill up the idle moments. You know, you can only, only be on your cell phone so much and recall people so often when you're out and about. So it's fun to do your art. Fill up those idle moments with art, you know, that's what I do. As you know, as you know, anyway, so there we are. I've been in the circles lately. The world is a circle without a beginning and nobody knows where it really ends. Whoa, everything depends on where you are in the circle is spinning round. Nobody knows if it's up or down. La la la. La 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 la. And just because you think you're small, it doesn't mean that you're small at all. And just because. If you do a king, for someone else you will be. The world is a circle without a beginning, and nobody knows where it really ends. Wow. Anyone watch that musical? Lost Horizon with music by Burt Backrack. I love that. Bobby Van. Sally Kellerman. Michael York. Some crazy stuff. Have you ever been embarrassed about things that influence you? And didn't want to share it with people? See, one of my great downsides is the fact that I, I never hide my influences. And everyone's like, God, you're following that? I'm like, yep. I don't care. That's my deal. I don't care. You know? I don't care if it's not fashionable. I don't care if it's not popular. You just you gotta follow what you like. I've done that ever since I was a kid. I remember going to Fred Meyer, and all all my favorite records were in the clearance aisle. Um, I was like, "Wow, look at this!" I remember ABBA and a lot of country records. I got a Conway Twitty record, Alvin and the Chipmunks records, Fred Meyer clearance section, baby. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Yeah. You know, it was funny. ABBA had his resurgence, but for years, you know, people here in America kind of gave up on ABBA. And now they're cemented. I mean, Mamma Mia and all that. Here we go again. My, my, how can I resist you, Mamma Mia? Oh, my, my, oh, so much I missed you. Yes, I've been broken hearted, blue since the day we parted. Why, why did I ever let you go, Mamma Mia? Do you see a structure kind of forming here? It's just, yeah, it's just a feeling out process right now this morning. But it's something that makes me happy. And ultimately, that's all that matters. Just like me singing Mamma Mia while I talk to you. You know, just like me referring to, you know, Pearl Bailey or any of these people that are kind of out of the public eye. Why do they need to be out of the public eye? If they're still in your heart, if they're still good and valid in your life, you know, stick with it. That's the way I feel. That's the way I feel. Gosh, I like so many singers and nobody even listens to anymore. Kenny Price, anyone? Oh, my goodness. Blossom Seeley and Benny Fields, anyone? I love them. My gosh, they're so much fun. I'm mixing paint right now. Yeah, da, 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 da. 
Back to mama cares and woe. Here I go, feeling low. Bye, bye, blackbird. Where somebody waits for me, sugar sweet, so is she. Bye, bye, blackbird. No one here can love or understand me. Oh, those hard luck stories they all hand me. Make my bed and light the light. I'll arrive late tonight, blackbird. Bye, bye. Not in best voice right now. It's still morning voice, but that's okay. Oh boy, look at that. Ah. Have you ever done art and been like, oh, there's something in there that you know people can look at it and they say, maybe it's it, maybe it's it's something dirty or you know in a completely unintentional. They're like, oh my goodness, that that's that, and that might mean that, and oh okay, well. That happens to me all the time. Sometimes I, when I make little squares, I'm like, oh, that almost looks like a swastika. I should probably take that out of there. Um, you have to be hyper aware when you work in the media like I do. You know, something might appear like a phallus and someone in some state somewhere may be offended by that. So you just have to think about such things, you know. I think about that all the time. And then I laugh. And then I laugh. You know, sometimes offending people is fun. So well, sometimes people need to be offended. Wouldn't you agree? Kind of wakes them up. But I do it with, in a charming way, in an innocent way. Yeah. I don't think there's anything offensive in this. But if you do see something that is offensive, let me know. And we can celebrate it together. All right. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, man. Now the brush that I'm using is not like a pinpoint brush. You'll notice like the lines are not real crisp on this. I'm just only approximating a crisp line. And honestly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as you got the gist of what you want to do, ride with it. Ride with it. <clears throat> yeah, that's the way I feel about it. Ah, the more perfect you try to make something, I think it just, it loses its life. Just go for your inspiration, you know? None of this really makes any sense to me until I I stop painting and then and then I look at it and I'm like, oh, okay, no wonder I put these things together. You ever had that happen with your art? Happens to me every single day. You know, I keep working on something, keep trying to, re to refine something, and I'm like, why do I keep doing this? And then afterwards, the answers become obvious to me, you know? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's good. Gotta blot that out. I'm using my blotting technique. You notice how loose I get sometimes? Well, you've seen me paint enough times here. You know, sometimes I get real loose and fun and free. And, and, and I just, I don't care. I don't care. Can you tell how I'm doing the camera work today that I don't care? I don't care. I don't care what people think of me. I'm happy, go lucky. They say that I'm plucky, contented, and carefree. But I don't care. I don't care if I'm a pauper or a millionaire. I know I've used this bit before, so I won't go into it again. Cause I don't care. All right, well, I got about two minutes left. And I'm liking this piece. It came out of nowhere. I mean, really, like I had nothing in my head this morning um, other than the fact like, hey, I got to do a video because I do them every week. And like, what do I what do I do? Where do I go? Honestly, the truth is I just put a camera in front of me and I just start talking and drawing. That's the secret of the show. There is no secret to this show. <laughs> it's just everything you see is right there. Warts and all. Yeah, so if this taught you anything, that would be a miracle. But we can always hope, right? <laughs> yeah, but I'm definitely going for... Um... You notice there's always a lot of rhythm in my, in my paintings, right? I try to have some, some energy. Always movement. But yeah, definitely always... Uh... There's a certain vibe going on um, every single time I paint. Um, it's got to be there, man. It's got to be there. And yes, that's still wet, and I know it's going to bleed out. And you know what? I wanted it that way. It gives it something else. Well, as always, you can sponsor me on Patreon. 
by going to M-R-K-U-R-T-N-I-E-L-S-E-N. That's it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.